What's up guys, it's your boy Shavon here, back again and again and again, the grind don't stop, we're here, we don't sleep, anyways, let's start the video. In today's episode guys, we'll be talking about iPhone SE, the iPhone 6s and the iPhone 6s Plus which just gained support for the iOS 10.1.1 Yalu jailbreak. So basically we all know that the Yalu jailbreak is still in progress but those of you who have been eagerly waiting for the jailbreak to be fixed on unsupported devices, this is your time to shine. Another developer on Twitter at Sticktron has posted a fix for the jailbreak that brings support for the iPhone 6s, the 6s Plus and also the iPhone SE. Luca himself has confirmed that this fix worked properly for the device and he also spoke about earlier in a video. He said that since people seem not to know yet, a fix for the TSMC has been posted for both the SE and the 6S. So support should now be complete for those devices. He also adds that I suggest using Sictron 6S fix and no one else. So basically he's just calling out I Japa. Everybody's supposed to know the hacker. He's basically saying that you you're not supposed to use the Y U C C A. You should definitely use Sticktrans own alone. And this is basically great news for those who own a 6S model and also the iPhone SE. But as always, I recommend that you guys should stay put and avoid jailbreaking until a more stable version is released. And also, the hacker has warned several times that this jailbreak is only intended for developers and there is pretty serious bugs in all yellow betas. So apart from this, Luca has mentioned several times that jailbreak users should avoid installing any sort of substrate enablers such as the YUCCA utilities as he claims that it's doing it wrong. But in all honesty, I feel that the YUCCA utility is completely safe. I don't see anything wrong with it. and. I think that Luca is just buttered because someone else is out there that can do things that he can do and he just wants all the credit but whatever. He also added that it's best to remove the open SSH or avoid installing it. I'll leave that link down below in the description. He said it's currently broken on iOS 10 and the jailbreak already comes with its own SSH so you guys should not install open SSH from iJapa. So despite these warnings, if you really want to take the risk and jailbreak your device, I have a video down below in the description for you guys and also you can download the latest TSMC fix for the iPhone 6s and for the iPhone 6s plus from the links below and also for the iPhone SE from the links below in the description. Keep in mind that you should only install the jailbreak tweaks that are compatible with the iOS 10.1 to iOS 10.1.1 jailbreak and I have a video of all the compatible tweaks down below linked as well. You can find a list of compatible tweaks down below as I just said. I just want you guys to know that and I also have top 10 jailbreaks video. You guys should definitely go and check those out. So if you like this video guys drop a like down below and always love peace and tweaks if you made this for hashtag ssh peace out